Wherever you are on this uh, most pleasant evening, there has been a clamour to get inside the ground tonight for a much-anticipated game. The uh, roads outside of the stadium have been bumper to bumper with traffic. The car parks are full. There is a torrent of humankind making its way from the nearby station and we expect every seat to be filled. An atmosphere of uh, great expectation and excitement. So what a stage for the players to take to here ahead of such an important game. The crowd rises for the national anthem of Portugal. They have thrown down the gauntlet with that anthem, now to match it. appear to be shaping up in a 4-4-2 formation. I think it gets a, a terrible raw deal these days. It's deemed old-fashioned, outdated, but in truth, with the, the right personnel, it works just as well as, as any other system or formation. Success can still be had with it, and teams are still winning big trophies with exactly this setup. And that gets things running. Jim, who do you reckon is pivotal? Yeah, Bernardo Silva. He's a real box of tricks, Peter, with a, a super first touch and a really nice, silky smooth dribbling style. He's also got an eye for a telling pass and he's a more than decent finisher too. What we don't usually comment on is his phenomenal work rate and that will be a standout for this team over the course, I can assure you. Thinking the same, he will be a central feature, no doubt. Guerrero. Guerrero goes looking. And it's been intercepted, and that will come to nothing. Well, that's where he wants it. Pepe. Ruben Neves. Bruno Fernandes. Tries to switch the play. Guerrero plays it forward. Portugal claiming a corner, and the referee concurs. Bruno Fernandes, who's short. There are a few waiting for it. Carvalho. A real chance to break. Now it's King. Salnas. Just to point out, Peter, that the fullbacks are quite high. And what do they try to achieve? Well, it's obviously a move to push um, the opposition wide men back and, and give them more to think about. Salnas gets into a dangerous position. Guerrero. Guerrero switches it towards the other side. Bruno Fernandes tries to get it forward quickly. For a moment, you felt that was going somewhere, but they'll have to go again. 
Gets it back. Going for goal! A really good feat from him. And it's Ella Dulawi. Whipped it. Has a hit! Fair effort. He reacted well. Portugal can defend those situations better by stopping the crosser at source. Nelson Semedo. So it is still nil-nil. Ruben Diaz. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. That's just very well played. He can't hurt you with his back to go. And it's been given away. He's one-on-one! -on -one. Real chance! Take the lead! And that really is so, so impressive. Well, none of us were exactly sure how that was going to end up then, but I'm delighted to see such a, a happy ending after such a splendid dribbling run. I mean, he really did fool that defence into wondering what he was going to do next. Deadlock broken, it's 1-0. Well, just listen to the reaction. I think you can hear the approval from the support all around the stadium. Pepe. It's all a little short of forward momentum, lacking thrust. Yet another to add to football's endless list of could-haves and should-haves. Look, the game is full of ifs and buts. If only the, the pass could have completed its journey. <laughs> Done very well to intervene. Rui Patricio gets it upfield. Bernardo Silva. And they're not going to make any further progress now. Omar Al Abdullawi drives it forward. William Carvalho. Oh, good interception. That always looked inevitable. The defence dealt with that really well. Al Abdullawi. Nice one too. And a header! Oh, fine stop from the keeper. Yeah, I thought the keeper did well to it. Referee's had a look, and he's blown his whistle for half-time. And here we are, off they go for half-time. The breakthrough did indeed come in the first half, but there has only been that one goal. It is very, very tight. I'm sure they'll be very happy with the first half performance and the scoreline. They'll definitely want to maintain the momentum now and finish the job. Norway head into the dressing room, pleased with the thought that they have that all-important lead. Analysis to come during the break. And we are already promptly back on the way. A solitary goal. That has been the crucial difference. Tries to dink it in. There really wasn't very much in that. Not far away from being a telling final ball. Uh, that was just poor decision-making and a weak execution. Nelson Semedo. Bruno Fernandes. Lovely bit of skill. Pizzi. Bernardo Silva. 
And again, they run up against stubborn defending. Could move up a gear here. Shoots! It's missed, but by that far... That's a little unfortunate. He had a lot of people worried then. Forward it goes. And play for a throw. Nelson Semedo. Norway are still that goal to the good. And here's Cristiano Ronaldo. Hoists it forward. And that's the end of that. It all started well enough. And it's Guerrero. Oh, that's nice. Guerrero looks to dink one in. And he's looking at the referee, but the referee is shaking his head. Portugal showing a little more urgency now, and to be honest, Peter, this is what's required. Well, hit and hope is just about the sum of it, isn't it, Jim? Well, there's no two ways about it. This is what they have to do. Cristiano Ronaldo. Bernardo Silva gets it out to the wing. It's a good foot in there. Good run, ultimately thwarted by an astute piece of defending. Crowd appreciates good football all round there. Guerrero, Guerrero going full steam ahead down the left flank. And it's played forward, and the finish! Oh, just lacked a decent finish. Ruben Diaz positions himself well and cuts it out. Ruben Neves. So, Jim, what are you thinking? Well, I'm inclined to feel that if I was in that dugout, I'd want the players to, to get on the front foot and grab another. Just try to, to make this one safe. Bernardo Silva. Hardly anything between the sides, and the score is 1-0. Portugal are actually displaying tremendous fighting spirit. There's a real belief that they can still have a say. Tries to get it forward quickly. Chance to break. Good ball. Now it's Cristiano Ronaldo. He's had a shot! Another chance! They've done it! They have come roaring back! Ronaldo duly reaps his reward, kept his cool whilst the defence lost their bearings. Oh, Peter, you can't teach that. You either have it or you don't. His anticipation is on another level to everyone else's. Superb. Checks on the touchline. 
a change about to occur. Yeah, he's run himself into the ground, hasn't he? And it's, it's good to see that the crowd appreciate his efforts because he has put in a real honour shift. Portugal grab the equaliser and we're all square. Listen, with the momentum that goal gives them now, they may well push for a winner before the 90 minutes is up. Players don't like extra time, believe me. Pepe drives it forward. Oh, it's a searing run. He is a man on a mission. João Cancelo. You wonder if that's it now, but they're mi that could spell trouble. Now it's King. Hoists it forward. Well, both sides might have to settle for a draw here, although there's still a chance for one last fling. Big chance! You wonder if that's it now, but there may be one more opportunity, Peter, for a late, late steal here. And it's King. Keeps everyone guessing. That's it, we're going to get 30 minutes more. Yeah, no daylight between these two sides, but I have to say, neither side really did enough to find the winner. They just cancelled each other out. So, a short respite for the players as they prepare themselves for another 30 minutes. Into extra time we go. Norway pay the price for failing to close out the match in normal time. Can they avoid the same fate here? Well, the consequences are still more serious. Nord fight. There's a goal! Well, that defence just wasn't expecting their midfield to mess up then, so when they did, they were caught completely cold by such a swift breakaway and such a well-worked finish too. Norway take the lead. Pizzi. And it's Mario Rui. Bruno Fernandes. And he's there to hoof it away. Johansson. Nordweit, Nordweit gets it forward. Oh, terrible pass. Sticks in a foot to win it back. Pitsy. Forward it goes. Pepe plays it forward. That's it for the first period of extra time. Well, it may well be a case of who's got most to give now. The fitness levels look good, and it's not any less competitive. Is there to be drama in these final 15 minutes? 
This has been enthralling. So, what do the last 15 minutes have left? Bruno Fernandes takes it over to the other flank. And it's Mario Rui. Ruben Diaz. Bernardo Silva. King. Johansson. Bernardo Silva. Ruben Neves goes looking. Plays it out to the wing. Oh, that's neat. He's had that. He's had a go. Oh, the ball's come loose. Nortweit goes upfield. Bruno Fernandes. Portugal need to give it everything they have, kitchen sink included. Well, that's where he wants it. Oh, well intercepted, really alert to the danger. Bernardo Silva. A famous win, all but confirmed. They just need to hold on for a few more minutes. Well, it remains to be seen whether they can come up with that little bit of class to rescue the situation, and it needs to be any time now, really. And in time is up, and there goes the whistle. Norway winners by the odd goal. It really could have gone either way, but a win is a win. Your reflections then, Jim. Norway have just reminded us why we love this game so much. The